In order to understand how the processor works, you first need to understand two things, and that is cache and registers. Now what cache does is it's super high speed memory. It's pretty much locked onto the processor, and what it does is that it preloads data from RAM, so that way when the processor needs to access it, there is very little latency for the processor to access that information, and the cache preloads the data and passes it to the CPU very very quickly which allows the processor to process information quickly which in turn speeds up the overall performance of your PC and the term you need to understand when talking about cache is coherency and what that is is that when the cache is preloading the information the rest of the computer knows they all see the same amount of information that the cache is processing and the picture on the bottom the more cache you have, the more information can be pre-processed. And this Intel processor here has 8 megabytes of cache. There are several different types of cache and they're called levels. And the greater the level is, the, the further distance it is from the core or the execution box itself, but they're all overall still faster than RAM. And to the average person, cache really doesn't mean anything, but if you're a game developer or a game programmer, understanding how cache works is important because if you have a data that needs to be accessed a lot of the time, if you have that data in RAM, your overall performance of your game is going to be very, very slow because what the processor needs to do is go all the way down to the RAM and pull that data from it rather if you were to store it in cache it helps your program it helps optimize your program is what I'm trying to say and the reason why the different layers of or levels of cache are slower than one another is because the the amount of data that can be stored here for example level 1 cache has up to 64 kilobytes of data that can be stored and so if the CPU were to access it it doesn't need to search for a very long time to actually find the data whereas in level 3 it has all the way up to 8 megabytes of cache where when the CPU needs to access the information it'll take longer to search through level 3 than it is through level 1 however they are all still faster than going all the way down to RAM to grab that information and here is a basic drawing of kind of how cache works as you can see RAM is way over on the left and the CPU is way over on the right and even though the level 3 cache is way down here it is still closer to the CPU than the RAM is and next thing we'll take a look at is remember cache preloads data and registers do something a little bit different registers actually store the data when it is being executed so cache will preload data before the execution and when the data needs to actually be executed it gets sent to a register and there are several different kinds of registers and each of them kind of perform a different function. Now address registers, what they do is they store the location of the data whereas buffer registers hold the actual data themselves. And program counter register, what this kind of is is that it essentially sorts the, inf the um, address of the information right before it's being executed so it's so like uh, instruction A is being executed well the program register then gets the address for instruction B and so that helps keep the overall performance of the CPU working and what the accumulator register does is that as the information is being processed through the ALU which is a specific part of the processor to perform logical operations what it does is that it holds the data right before it is accessed and the immediate results of said calculation. And what it does is that it goes then, once that data is executed, the it goes right to the memory buffer register, which will then hold those contents. And here is a kind of an example of kind of how registers work. As you can see on the left side of the picture, the the CPU bus, which allows the data to travel all over the processor and the register needs to constantly be able to access it so when the register is 
processing the data to be executed it can pass the information around the CPU very quickly and understanding how cache and registers work is important to understand how the overall processor works thank you for listening